Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel today. We have something a bit different as you can see. It's not a Legends of Frontera video, but instead I'll be playing Lies of P. This is a new Souls-like game that, ca that came out a few days ago, I believe a week ago. Uh, even less than that. Yeah, so, uh, you know, uh, I always said this channel isn't always about Legends of Runeterra. And, you know, today I wanted to upload something a bit different. So I'll give it a go. This isn't my first time of me uploading something different. I also uploaded my Cuphead gameplay. Um, but, you know, people didn't seem to <laughs> really enjoy that. Um, but, you know, this is something different. This is a Souls-like game, which I played every single Souls-like game. It's just super fun for me. I love, absolutely in love with this genre. And hopefully you guys will enjoy it too. You know, something a bit different. Of course, I'll continue uploading Legends of Frontera content as usual. You shouldn't be worried about that. But I do uh, want to play Lies of P because it seems super exciting. And I heard some really good reviews from fans and on Steam. So uh, hopefully you guys will stick around. Gonna upload an edited version of the gameplay. You know, I'm not gonna upload the whole me running around and doing some boring stuff We're gonna upload the interesting stuff the highlights and just the gameplay so this is the first part of it and hopefully we'll have a blast um and i hope you guys enjoy <laughs> so let's actually start <clears throat> and by the way i'm gonna read the entire lore in honor of the great writer Carlo Collodi. Oh. Yeah. Can you hear me? Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. Okay. Oh wow, we're already starting. Nice. Okay, so game looks actually really great. Ah. Okay. Mouse settings feels good. Ah, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Okay. By the way, the screen, does my camera hide anything? Nope. Perfect position. Game also run incredibly smooth. E investigate. I see they got Jiminy too. But we have to hurry. My name is Sophia. Please come to Hotel Crot, and I'll explain what's happening. Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. Use belt. Uh, yeah, so I'm playing with the mouse and keyboard. If you haven't figured it out by now, I'm never gonna play with a controller. It's just weird. Ooh. But the streets are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. What is that? Select combat style. Uh, path of Cricket. Path of the Cricket. Balance. Path of the Bastard Dexterity. And Path of the Sweeper Strength. Oh, so it's your build. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. You need to choose it like this. Uh... Okay, strength, dexterity, or balance. Definitely not balance. I, I don't like balance. I like to focus on something. Oh my god, I usually play strength build. Um, that's what I usually do in Dark Souls. I also play dexterity in Dark Souls 3 for a bit. It was super fun. I don't know what sh should I do in this game, actually. Path of the best or dexterity? Maybe we'll go for that. This seems super fine. Let's go for that. Path of dexterity... Nino? Yeah. Okay, so I can already attack. This is nice. 
Okay, so let's actually go real quick to the items we started with. Uh, last resort, immediate character death upon use. Uh, yeah, so like the dark sign. A special device that releases all of the P organs energy at once dies upon use. Yep. Uh, oh, what's that? The old man feared the possibility of his son failing to awaken properly and going into a frenzy. This initialization device was made as a necessary evil for a delicate readjustment. <laughs> okay, so it's like a failsafe. Ah, cool. I love the lore behind that. What's this? Uh, Monad's lamp increases the brightness upon use. Interesting, so it's a lamp. A small lamp with a cricket guide puppet inside. It illuminates the darkness with a faint light. Do not be afraid, even if you get lost in a fog, the cricket guide will be with you. Oh, interesting, okay. A uh, grinder, repair weapons durability. Weapon durability decreases each time you attack enemies with weapon. Use the grinder to repair your weapons. When durability falls to zero, attack decreases and the weapon cannot be repaired with a grinder. Thus, it is advised to keep an eye on the durability gauge. To those in battle, the grinder is their lifeline. The sharpness of the blade can mean life or death. And the pull cell, which is like the flask, uh, use a pull cell to recover HP. There is a maximum number of times pull cells can be used. Uh, when you reach the maximum, the cell will be discharged. If you attack enemies while the cell is discharged, the pull cell will, gradu will be gradually charged. Oh, so you can charge it up to one use if it's uh, totally empty. That's great. Pull cells are ergo cells that powers the P organ. <laughs> P organ. They work with stargazers and they can also convert energy from an attack, in attacks impact to recharge. Sick. Okay. Stargazer. What is Stargazer? Okay, so this is all the items we started with. We can actually attack. Let's get out of here. Nice. <laughs> uh, oh my god. So I like to explore everything. So we take that into consideration. Oh, what was that? Was that a... What did I click? I clicked control by mistake, so it's like a melee attack? Oh, it's like using the hand. Oh, that's sick. Oh, I ran out of energy. Lock on. Ooh, our first creature. Oh, that was a regular dodge. That wasn't, uh... Sick. Okay, he died pretty quickly, and we're getting some recharge on the upper left. Oh, the atmosphere! The atmosphere is incredible. Oh my god! Nope. Welcome to Crunchy, everyone. Saucy to wheel. What is that? Throwing object, uh, sought with wheel. We're, again, we're gonna read everything because that's just how I play usually Dark Souls and stuff like that. Uh, so, a cog wheel that is common sight in, in Krat. It can be thrown to draw an enemy's attention. Even worthless items can become useful if you collect them. Everything became useful in battle in the paralyzed city. Awesome. Can I destroy stuff? Doesn't seem like it. Hello? Obtain. Pull cell. Use a pull cell to recover HP. There is a maximum number of pull cells. Uh, yeah, we already read that. Okay, so now we got the healing. We got our flask. Three charges. That's, a lot. That's quite a lot. So let's explore a bit. See if we can open some doors. What the... That... No, no, I see him, dude. No. Oh my god. Oh, oops. I accidentally jumped. 
Fable Catalyst, okay. Wait, so you can't really roll in this game? How do you, like, roll? Okay. We got another one here. And also, let's try the guard. Let's try to see what our guard will look like. Oh, I didn't take any damage. So there is a perfect parry in this game. That's good to know. That's actually good to know. Do we have a map? I guess not, right? It's like a Dark Souls game. Seems locked. I guess that's a shortcut. We go from here. Let's actually watch the items we got. Consumable. Uh, Fable charge. A catalyst made to supplement puppet abilities rapidly charges Fable. The catalyst made puppets, uh, the catalyst made puppets more efficient by circulating earlier energy within their body. This groundbreaking invention was based on an alchemy on one alchemist idea. Okay, so it charges Fable. I guess Fable is the upper left thing. Ergo. Obtain Ergo. Plus 100. A key fragment of Ergo. Mysterious Power Stone that can be found in Krat. Geppetto's puppet can absorb Ergo and turn it into power. Ergo is both power source and a currency in Krat. Even small pieces can be put to good use in the city. Oh, so it's souls. Okay. That's sick. So it's this... Ah, okay. That's really great. Okay, so I can go through here. The station employee has the translation keys. Okay, so I need to find a key. This is the only way. Hello? Guard. Uh, you can block enemy attacks by guarding. If your guard is successful, your character will take reduced damage, but it will consume stamina. The reduced damage will be transformed to guard regain. Guard regain accumulates, but gradually decreases over time. While you have guard regain, you can attack enemies to recover HP. That's interesting. Perfect guard. Okay, so yeah, we did have that. Uh, if guard succeeds right before being hit, it triggers a perfect guard. When perfect guard is successful, you will not receive damage. Only stamina is consumed. You can use perfect guard to destroy an enemy weapon or put the enemy in staggerable status. Sick. Okay, so you have a death blow like Sekiro. Let's try it. Ah, dude, no. Stop being a nerd. Oh. Nice. The attacking really feels good in this game. What do we have here? Oh! Nope. Heavy. Attack me. Ah, that was lame. Mistimed it. Obtain. Thermite. Oh, uh, let's see what a termite is, actually. <clears throat> Another throwing guard. The termite bomb can be thrown, inflict fire damage at the area of impact. After, a puppet, after the puppet frenzy, people began to fashion weapons of resistance in their desperation. Many throwable weapons were manufactured and this exhibited excellent results against their marching enemies. Sure. What's this? Character info. Oh, okay, it's this. Wow, it's incredible, dude. I hope my camera doesn't... No, cost too much distraction here. I'm not hiding anything important. Rear fatal attack from behind an enemy, so I guess we'll slow up. Yep. <laughs> nice. Okay, so again, just like Dark Souls, you can one shot enemies if you come from behind them. Oh, what's up, my man? Oh. oh I tried to guard that. I didn't do it in time. Wow, what's this? Passenger's note. C. 
If anyone finds this note, get out of the station and run. Be sure to steer clear of the waiting room. I saw a huge puppet smashing people to death in there. I'm not afraid, dude. I'll slay it. Space uh, and dash. While dashing, jump. Oh, so you can jump. Okay. Nice animation. Oh! Boom. Perfect. Let's go. Oh! Good. Where did it come from, man? Die. These are the grunts. Team Argo Fragment. Sick. Sick. You can roll through object. Nope. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, so you can jump. That's... But you don't seem to be able to jump through these. Lock device. There are doors and ladders all throughout the cart that are locked by devices. You can lock these doors, go down ladders, or to create shortcuts. Yep. Oh, so this is the starting era. Nice. Sick. Alright. So I assume this is the first introductory boss. Come on, boy. Let's go. You and me. Oh! It got staggered? What? Oh, I should have attacked. No. No. Oh my god. Sterigable. Hold for a charge attack. While you're attacking, a white outline will appear on the enemy h bar. When this happens, you can make a starter with charge attack or fable. Oh! So I could have... Uh, that's the that misplay. Wait. Okay, I did that. Fatal attack. Uh, face a staggered enemy. Oh yeah, that's just basically executing it. Oh, sick! Okay, so I need to notice the enemy outline. Okay, sure. Oh, well, I guess that wasn't a boss, that was just a big enemy. It was <laughs> that was really easy. Uh, what did we get from him? Let's actually give it a read. Okay, so there we go. Crowd transformation key a key one cell by car by crap central station puppet it opens the front entrance of the station so that big door the station puppet fulfilled the duty imprinting on it its last duty ended in with a bloody violence true so what are these defense parts move to equipment oh okay so it's these uh sure worship union certified liner reduce physical damage Slash damage reduction, right? Okay, so it's basically our armor. Okay, I got it. Nice. There we go. Welcome to Krat. Rainy night. This. Bonfire, let's go. Oh, so these are stargazers. Okay, stargazer. Use a stargazer to fully recover HP and stamina as well as charging your pool cells. You will be revived at this point in case of death. Remember, this process will survive enemies, not just your character. Sure. This is called a stargazer. A marvelous device the stalkers used in the past. Oh, level up and use storage. Okay, so I can use it to level up. Uh, use storage, I guess you can just put items in. Okay, sick. So you level up at the bonfire? Classic, classic. Uh, so we do play dexterity, which I guess, uh, what is this? What's this effect? 
Okay, so capacity, it legion and weight. Sure. Advance. What is this? Legion. Fire, electric blitz, acid. Oh, so it's like you can say the mage? But I guess you don't have really ma have magic here, right? I guess it's more of a fable art thing. Uh, remaining ergo required. Yeah, sure. That's great. Uh, let's increase vitality for now. I kind of want to be on 10. And we can put one more point into something, I guess. Nope, we don't have it. Okay, that's fine. Two vitality is great. Nice. Awesome, awesome. <clears throat> Hello? Oh my god, he's attacking me. Uh, fable arts, use fable arts while guarding. Use handle fable arts. Okay, so F is a fable art. I guess I should change the key binding. Wait, after, immediately after I destroy all of my enemies. Easy. So I should change the settings real quick. Uh, keyboard and mouse. Yeah, where's fable art? Fable art should be here. That would be way more comfortable. Just to put it on the mouse. Dim Ergo Fragment. Oh, wait, I'm out of stamina. Oh, oops, I forgot to... Wait, Fable Art! Oh, that was sick! What was that? No, no, dude, how many enemies? Dexterity feels great in this game. That's awesome. Okay, so many enemies. So that was pretty sick, Fable Art. Okay. Uh, can we jump over here? Nope. So many corpses, dude. Cry times issue. Cry times issue. Uh... 183, the Krat Grand Exhibition has been delayed. This decision was made to protect the citizens until the puppet frenzy that has recently paralyzed the city is under control. The occurrence began on Rosa Isabel Street, resulting in hundreds of casualties. While the cause is still unknown, the number of casualties and scale of damage are both growing. As the crisis dragged on, the workshop and Veni... Uh, Vanagini company, Krat largest puppet factory, announced that they would offer emergency supplies to citizens and do everything they could alleviate the situation. A task force <clears throat> is investigating the possibility of a fatal loss of the Grand Covenant, which is the control protocol of the workshop puppets. However, there is no quick solution as of now with a puppet frenzy resulting in more casualties as the city braces for a uh, resurgence of the petrification disease. The citizens were advised to stay indoors for their safety, however, many citizens are trying to escape through Krat Central Station, intensifying the general chaos. So, the puppet rebelled? So there used to be a puppet and the puppet rebelled. That's interesting. Okay. <clears throat> and what is a... Petrification disease? Re resurgence of the petrification disease. Okay, I guess we'll find out more later. Okay. 
Oh, the lock on persists even through walls. That's an interesting one. Dude, <laughs> what is it? Oh! Fuck! Oh my god, I didn't notice him. Oh my god, that actually scared me, dude. The hell? Okay. Hello? Anyone behind this wall? Hey, what? How did I miss that? Was there something on the side? Fury attack. Some enemies will become red and use a strong attack called Fury attack. You can dodge or guard Fury attacks, but you can counter with a perfect guard. So you can dodge them. Okay. Uh, that was kind of an epic fail. Okay, let's, uh, let's reset this one a bit. Okay, do this red attack. Okay, missed. Ah, did I miss again? Oh, that's difficult. Let's heal. Let's heal. Okay, wait. Hold. Staggered. Oh my god, he exploded. That was sick. Okay, I kind of <laughs> failed epic epically on this one. I, uh, I do need to start using Fable Arts more. I need to get used to it. So much to learn at the very beginning. Okay, so you can go down here. Oh, so this is the hotel? Sure. That's interesting. The, the game feels great, but it's definitely not the, the smoothest game. Uh, used to repair. Oh, my durability. Okay. So, this is already... Need to use it. Man, I hate mechanics such as these in a game. I hate looking for durability. Okay, so I saw this small thing there. Attack while falling down, so... Nice. Easy attack. There we go. Oh, there it is. Found it. Uh, Venigi Urgent Repair Tool. What's this, actually? Uh, upper belt. Conceivable instantly repairs weapon durability. An emergency repair tool made in the beginning. A strong weapon durability. An emergency repair tool that Veni Venigni made to support stalkers. Regrettably, this, its manufacturing fa facility was destroyed during the puppet's occupation, so it becomes a rare item. So it's quick repair, basically, instead of just... You know, doing this during combat, which is super annoying, by the way. Like, why would you ever put this in a game? Oh, you can change it with the mouse wheel as well, dude. I was actually clicking. Okay, that's way more comfortable now. Wait, wait, that's too many. That's too many, my man. Chill, chill. Oh, I need to use Fable Arts, man. Oh, God. Okay, let's heal. Let's use Fable Arts. Sick.
Hello. Mm -hmm. Collecting all the souls. I guess Argo. And that's the other side. Sick. Well, I mean, there's no really reason to go back here because we've kind of explored everything. Let's repair the Stargazer. Level up. Uh, do we give one more point in vitality? No. I think capacity. I kind of need to understand what motive it is. Legion arm attack, physical attack. Oh, so it's Legion arm attack ability. Technique, I guess. That's also kind of great. Uh, let's put two points in capacity just in case we'll... Uh, one point maybe. One more in Vitality, and that would be enough for now. Because this thing feels like really important. Uh, what's this? Obtain. Oh! Oh, so it's a training dummy. Hello there. Hey! Welcome to Krat, visitor. Thank you. I didn't think there were any stalkers left <clears throat> to fight the puppets. You didn't hear? Figures. The whole organization fell apart. All that's left are wannabes and amateurs who think they can fight on their own. You ought to buy something while you're at the festival. You can't rely on yourself alone. Sure. Now you're alone, you could use some. Ah, oh, so it's a merchant. Throwing cell. Uh, after the puppet frenzy, people began to fashion weapons of resistance. Yeah, okay, so troubles. Electric blitz ablaze. Abrasive? Uh, temporarily imbues weapon with electric blitz. Oh, so it's a flesh paper from Bloodborne. Sick. A special abrasive made mixing electric blitz metal powders. Temporarily imbues the weapon with electric blitz. Uh, white stalkers are prepared in faith <clears throat> uh, to face any manner of variable that comes up in battle. Abrasive are another weapon that can turn on the tide on the constantly shifting battlefield. Okay, so sick. So a weapon, which I don't feel like we need right now. Sell. Maybe we have some cool items. Maybe we can sell these, but it doesn't feel that important to me right now. So let's actually go. Let's see what we can discover here. Okay, so I shifted my camera just a bit. So you can actually see the game and read the stuff. I think this is the optimal location. Uh, so yeah, let's read the note again. Collectible, it was this one. Introducing the Parade Puppet. Here appears a terrific puppet that will enliven the parade. Introducing Parade Master, a remarkable Parade Puppet model from the workshop to celebrate the Grand Exhibition. Hello there, I'm the Parade Master. I like singing and marching with the people. Oh, that's some kind of him. Uh, the Parade Master had the following functions. Uh, 16 jolly songs, uh, cheerful laughter, and 54 parade phrases. Parade dances to delight children, the strength to carry six men on his shoulders. Oh no. This Parade Master was made big in commemoration of the Grand Exhibition. Check out its charms on the eve of the upcoming exhibition. Yeah, we can all, I already know we need to fight him. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh. That was sick. Okay. Let's go. There he is. Okay, I remember him from the demo. I haven't played it, but I watch people play it. What? What is he saying? Oh! Okay. I'm dealing a decent amount of damage. 
Ah, I should have blocked that. Kind of mistimed it. Block. No? Okay, heal. Wait, wait, wait. Block. Nice. Block. Block. Oh, okay, I got him staggered. Block. Oh, I didn't made it. Okay, I guess I should dodge that. Okay, I tried to block that as well. No, wait, wait, wait. Okay, let's let's dodge, let's dodge. I'm panicking. There we go. Fable art. Nope, dodge. Oh, okay, so I did block it. Okay, Fable Art. No! Uh, uh, right click. Heal. Okay, that's half HP already. Face transition, I guess. Heavy attack, heavy attack. Fable Art, Fable Art, Fable Art. No! Oh my god, dude. Attack, attack, attack. Attack, attack. Dodge. I didn't dodge it. Heal, heal. Wait, wait, wait. Let me heal, let me heal. Oh, one. Two. And I assume three. Wait, wait, wait. Defend. 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 No, dodge. Dodge. Dude, do a fable attack. There we go. Okay, we got it. How much HP does he have, man? I, I don't want to look. Okay, avoid. Got it. Sick. Oh, I have no HP, I have no HP. Let's go! First try, dude, what? That's sick! Eliminated. <laughs> nice! Okay, that was a good boss. That was a good introductory boss. Obviously, really easy. Uh, sure. Uh, doesn't he spawn a Stargazer on him? I assume not. <clears throat> One more thing I should mention. The hotel security excludes puppets like you. So you'll have to lie to get inside. You're a special puppet after all. I'm lying already. Hidden Moonstone? What is that? Uh, hidden Moonstone. Upgrade normal weapon blade up to plus three. Okay, so it's literally the stones from Dark Souls. Uh, a rare enhancement material uh, that can be obtained in different parts of Krat. It can be upgraded blades of common weapon. The Moonstones were not from this world. However, it was the most optimal enhancement material. <clears throat> uh, in their urgency, technician pushed forward with using the Moonstones for weapon upgrade without time to review it any further. And we got Quartz, P-Organ Ability Activation Parts. It's a colorful, tiny Aragra Fragment. It activates a special ability when equipped to the P-Organ. There is a special kind of Ergo with different color and vibration. The Workshop uses this gem to bring up the puppet different ability. Oh, so it's an upgrade material. Okay. Sure. But I guess for abilities, which is... I guess we're gonna find out later. So, Who are you? puppet human. So the lady told me I uh, told me I have to lie. So I'll say I'll I'm human. Your <laughs> springs are reacting. So we just now beginning, okay? 
<laughs> They're manufacturing puppets. Where used to be a happy place? Do you use puppets for slavery? Classic, classic. Welcome to Karat. Oh, that's a robot. Oh, this is the puppet frenzy? No, dude, no. Why did they rebel? Oh my god, these dead bodies, dude? Yep, <laughs> that answered my question. Despair, dude. Despair. Wow. Incredible. Now lying. <laughs> Instead of loading. That's funny. Hello? Who are you? Oh my god, dude. Our first waifu. It begins. I'm so happy to see you. Likewise. Oh! Thank God. Thank I God. Sophia. Hello, Sophia. I've been waiting for you. Searched all over the city of Croft to find you. You must have questions. Geppetto will have answers. But we have to find him first. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Krat is dangerous for humans. And that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Please find Geppetto on Elysian Boulevard. I'll explain more once you find him. So we need to find Geppetto. Level up. You can level up for Sophia. Okay, so she's uh, the firekeeper. Sick. <clears throat> uh, you can level up for Sophia using Aragorn in your possession. You can increase your stats when you level up. Alright, so we do have 11 points in vitality, that feels like enough for now. Uh, maybe one in technique. Physical, fire. Oh no, actually technique is... It's reduction rate? Yeah, it's defense. Okay, so physical, fire, electric, blitz, and acid. I guess these are defense. Great. Uh, I guess this is also... And advance is the legion stuff, which we do not know what it means. Kind of hope there was like a guide to exactly tell you what each of these means, but it doesn't seem like you do have. Uh, but a weapon is based on technique, as far as I can see, and the motivity. I guess it means like physical, right? It only makes sense. This is probably physical, and this is probably dexterity. You know, just judging by the weapon and it makes sense. So what is advance? That's what I'm not really understanding. I'll read about it later. For now, we'll go with, I guess, one point in vitality and one point in technique. Because you can't be wrong with vitality. Level up. Look at Gemini. I think he's in shock. <laughs> That's proof you're broken. The real Gemini isn't so calm. I'm no inventor, but perhaps I can fix him. Or perhaps he'll fix himself in time. Wait, take this pocket watch. Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. This <clears throat> watch will guide you to a safe place. Be careful, clever one. Moonstone pocket watch. Let's give it a read. Uh, teleport to hotel or less targets reused. A pocket watch from Sophia. The power within the watch returns the user to the last targets visited. 
R to the Hotel Stargazer, a pocket watch is imbued with mystical power. The power of the watch turns back times to when the boy was in peak condition. Oh, okay, so I'll guess. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so it's like a, yeah, okay, a mountain bag, yeah, so it is definitely a one-time, seem like a one-time use item, maybe, so it's like a homeward bone, it's basically a homeward bone, that's good to know, let's talk with her a bit. About Ergo. Ergo is the miracle that made Krat prosper. Without Ergo... There would be no automated puppets to make Krat wealthy. When you move, you tap into the power of Ergo within you. Gather more Ergo. It will make you stronger. In that didn't really explain Krat, it. A cricket often acts as a guide. <clears throat> that is why these automated models became popular. But Gemini is unique. He's more than just a guide. As you get more familiar with Gemini, you'll see what I mean. Uh, as for something else... Nope. So, this is definitely a good point to stop. Um, yeah, super fun game for now. <laughs> I mean, at least for now, this seems like a really super fun game. It's really well made. It reminds me, of course, a lot of Dark Souls, but I guess that's kind of the point. So, really, really looking forward to continue this gameplay. I hope you guys uh, will like this video. Uh, I'm gonna still continue uploading because I'm going to play this game regardless. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Of course, it will not hurt the Legends of Runeterra content, but I do want to upload all the stuff to the channel as well. And this is kind of a good game to start with, in my opinion. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.